Hi, this is Tracy, We Craft at Home. We're just going to start very quickly on here. Now, I'm just going to outline myself. I need an A4 size sheet. So, I actually only know it in um, centimetres. I'm not very good at the inches. I think I know, but... Okay, so width-wise, we want 210, and then that one, it's not quite 30, but it is almost, oh, it's not 30, 30 centimetres, <laughs> so 300, right, so that's an A4 sheet. Um, now I'm going to go back to inches because everything else I do is in inches. I think it's like eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters, almost. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do is a template for the project we're doing today. So I need a circle, and because they're impossibly hard to get right. I thought I would just do it on here. So the circle we want at, let's try seven and a half inches. Yeah, see that fits just nicely. And now we need a few lines. So I'm going to use the path tool and I'm going to go so you hold it down, hold the shift key so that it stays centered. I didn't mean to do that, but never mind. And double click. We want to save this as lines. Okay, so now I'm going to center it all so I know it's where it should be. So these lines, actually that can come off now. Um, they're very, as you can see, I'm trying to get the cross on it and they're very hard to grab hold of. If I layer and duplicate, you then got to grab it again. But I'll tell you what I'd do if I shift it over. So then I am going to layer, duplicate, so that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, a uh, duplicate. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just grab one, Send that to the back so that we can concentrate on the lines. So I'm going to grab one, put it where I want the last one. Actually, if we get... No, I need it back there. And one where I want the last one there. So we just want to put one there, one there, one, two, three. Oh, we need another one. Okay, so we've got the one in the middle and then four each side. Now rather than try and arrange it all, I'm just going to pick up all the lines and see this here, that will distribute them between the outside two evenly. That's what we want. And I'm just going to move them all up because I want them more along the top than anything. 
what I should have thought of if we grab it all and do it to the top there we go so now it's all even and now we want to grab it all and change to draw because this is going to be a template okay so oh one last thing I need one going across the middle that way so click hold shift go along and double click hold the circle as well we don't want them lines because we want the center that way yeah I was a little bit out so there we go oh we have to change that to draw now that was lucky forgot that bit change it to draw and then send it over file transfer or put it on your stick if you haven't got the Wi-Fi and we'll be ready to go and we're going to draw all that out uh, what I want to try and do is draw it on both sides yeah it'll be better it's actually the center the center and the circle that we want on the other side we don't necessarily need these lines so you can take them off if you want okay I'll see you on the other side okay so I'm at the desk I've printed out the template to do the tissue. I'm going to do it in uh, red and green. So we're going to do a honeycomb, basically. Uh, I've marked the top, so I'll go, I'll go green, red, green, red, because I'm going to do it in opposite colours like that. So whatever you choose to do, if you're doing one colour, then A, B, A, B, because you've got to alternate where you put the um, glue. So I'm going to start off... I would advise you to use a print stick. I had to actually go and buy one because I don't normally have them. Um, because I've I've tried it once already, and I tried to do it with the um, other any other glue, and it doesn't work. I guess you could use. Let's start off with red. I guess you could use the. Um, the tape pens, that's what I was trying to say, sorry. You could use tape pens. Okay, so the first one. We're going to put across. Because that's got to be on the whole back. And now what we're going to do, we're going to alternate the glue down strips. So this is red, we're going to start with the green. So we just have to make sure it's going to go over the circle. Green. Green. like that. So, I've cut these into eight inch squares because the template are done at seven and a half so I've just made sure I've got a little bit of extra free if I need it. So next I'm putting red so we'll go red. And then we're going to do green again.
you're just going to keep doing that. So I've done 40 squares of each to do this. Um, like I said, I've tried this before. And when I've done it before, i only done 40 sheets in all and it wasn't enough. So I've done 40 squares of each. So you don't want to see me doing all these. I'm going to sit and do these, um, leave it to dry and then I'll come back and show you what to do. Right, so I've done that. I've cut around the circle thing. So we're going to cut halfway through. I only ended up using 30 sheets of each and not, not the whole 40. So I've cut the circle out and cut halfway through. Make sure, go through everywhere and make sure that everywhere is stuck. See, like that. Because uh, some of mine weren't stuck and I had to go back through it. Okay, so I've got this, um, it's kind of a stretchy tape and I figured it might look nice if I put a couple of jingly bells on the bottom to give it a little bit of weight so I don't know if to do just one but I think two together might be nicer so really make a noise unless there's more than one of them okay so we'll just tie a nice double knot in the bottom of that there we go and now we're just going to stick it down one side I'm going to use a bit of double sided tape because we have to stick these together so if I use double sided tape, I'll just do a little bit for now, just to keep it in place. It's a great one to do with the kids, isn't it? I mean, they'd love sticking the tissue together. Use a Pritt stick and it's not too messy with them. Okay, so we stuck the string down. So now we can take the tape off. There's my pokey tool. And I'm just going to use the glue stick. It seems to be the best thing to stick it down with without it going through everything. So I find it worked really well. I don't know. I did try other glues. I've got a few uh, broken ones around where they didn't work. Okay, so now we're going to stick them together. And then you want enough to be able to make a loop to uh, hang it with.
should okay so big reveal now so it should all open there we go like that and then what you can do rather than sticking it each side I had this thought that maybe you could use paper clips to hold it together I oh, see mine has come unstuck but that's an easy fix the rest of it is fine so yeah you do if you use paper clips to hold it together it will work a treat now I've just got one more thing I want to do it's Christmas after all so I want to glitz it so I was thinking I don't know if you've seen how I showed you how to make glitter card um, but we're going to use the same principle just a little bit of difference I need to get everything out of the way so it doesn't so we can glue it together I just want to make sure it's open enough that we can get everything okay so we're going to spray just on the outside if we can I'm not even entirely sure this will work as well but while that's settling So I covered it in glitter and I'm trying to get the majority of it off now just uh, the other thing we've got to do I think is to put this piece together book binding glue is to bind book pages so I'm going to try this because when I open it up it's not really holding the rest of it together for some reason so what I want spreader because I don't want to put too much on because I had issues with that last time Might not look much now. I'll put a couple of pegs on. Just while it dries. And then we've got... Um, and then it's nice and glittery as well. So, the thing I will say is if you want to do shapes like hearts and bells and uh, I don't know stars just start with your original shape as whatever you want so star um, you know you just start with that shape make sure you put the lines in for a template and uh, make sure you do the other side so you know what you're cutting out and then you can do any shape you like and it will work okay then I think that's it I will see you tomorrow bye for now